I am Jenny Frentis. I'm here at Giants Stadium with Giants beat reporter Mike Garofolo, and we're being troopers and standing here in the rain. Well, we're, we're football writers. You won't catch any. You won't catch Jeremy Cawthon, our Mets writer, out here. I don't think he'd be out in the rain if you have to put it off till tomorrow. Like I like they did in the World Series. Maybe <laughs> wait two much. days. Well, speaking of the elements. We're going to transition into the Giants running back trio, Earth, Wind, and Fire. And that nickname just won't go away. Nice transition, away. by the pretty way. Pretty good transition. Again, you keep improving in that area. Thank good work. you. And it's a pretty big challenge this week. They're meaning the league's best runs up, run offense is meaning mm. the league's best run defense. Yes. Uh, and I, I imagine they're going to meet somewhere in the middle. I, I don't expect a 200-yard game by the Giants, and I don't expect a 60-yard game by the Giants. I'm thinking like 100, 110, somewhere around there, which means they're going to have to throw the ball this week. And, you know, Plexico Barris is going to have to have more than three catches for, for 20 yards, which is right around where he's been. He's had a couple of touchdowns, but they're going to have to step it up there. He talked a little bit today about how just they haven't had the ability to, to, to go deep. They've come out of the huddle, deep ball is called, and all of a sudden they look up and there's a safety stacked over a cornerback, one on they have to audible to a run. They're not going to be able to do that and, and, and I think Baltimore is actually because they're so aggressive will give them the opportunity to do that and they need to take advantage of it. Sorry the elements are getting to be here my nose oh, is running. That's okay Mike. <laughs> Speaking of running. Speaking of, <laughs> oh look you're, you're catching on with me. Well and we're just talking about Baltimore's aggressive defense. Giants also have an aggressive defense and the Ravens have a rookie quarterback Joe Flacco. Mm -hmm. How do you think that's going to affect how he plays? I would imagine he hasn't seen a pass rush like this. I mean, I know he's been playing in the NFL, and every team can get after it from time to time, but I don't think he's seen a, a pass rush that when this team is on can really get after it. And I know he didn't see it from Villanova when he was playing back with uh, with Delaware, okay? So if these guys can really start getting after him a little bit, you saw how the Ravens rattled Eli a couple years ago. Well, maybe this is payback time now for the Giants. I don't know. None of these defensive guys were around for that game other than, than Fred Robbins. But, uh, you know, certainly they want to get after him. They want to rattle him. They want to show him what an NFL pass rush can be like. It's interesting you mentioned payback because uh, Monty Tumor was saying that the Giants don't have much of a history against the Ravens, but two, the two most recent games, there's the blowout in 04, and then there's the Super Bowl loss, you know, at Super Bowl 35. So I guess how much, he said they want to atone for yeah. those, you know, those games. Do you think that's kind of something that's in their heads this week? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but I think a lot of these guys weren't even around for those games and, you know, Super Bowl uh, 25, 35? It was 35. 35. Yeah, geez, third 25 was back in 91. Um, I, I, these guys weren't around for that, but I, maybe before he leaves here, Armani Toomer does want to write a little different uh, history. And maybe, maybe he's leaving sooner than later because he has a free agent at the end of the year, and there have been no contract talks with, with him, no substantive contract talks with him uh, as of yet. Oh, thanks for slipping in that little tidbit at the end you there, got Mike. got it, every now and then. All right, well, we'll see you Sunday for the big showdown between run defense and run offense. See you again at Giant City, and maybe it won't be raining.